Hello everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chortro, and I'm the world's biggest shitter. Today we're going to talk about what to do after you've picked a pledge and are about to launch the game for the first time. So, after you download the launcher, you're going to click on it, log in with your credential, you can hit launch game. It's going to come up with, uh, this is just a disclaimer saying that it's an alpha version, just acknowledge it and it'll start loading. Um, while it's doing this, um, it's important to note that this game is an alpha. It's gonna be a buggy mess, but it's our buggy mess and we love it. Also on my Twitch channel, we're doing a $45 pledge, uh, starter pledge giveaway. If you wanna enter that, swing by my Twitch channel, which is linked in the description below and make sure to enter that giveaway. Um, you can get 100 tickets for the giveaway. Each ticket costs 50 points. You gain points by watching the stream. Um, and then when you click exclamation giveaway in my chat, it'll give you more details. All right, so we're in the main uh, screen here. So this is gonna look a little different. Your first time you load, down here on the bottom right, it's going to say to unlock your friends list, select a primary residence in the persistent universe. So you're not able to access your friends list when you first started the game. If you're just getting this game, you probably don't have a friends list and that's okay. Um, so anytime they do a wipe or anything, you're going to have to load into a server, come back to main menu if you want to group up with your friends. So we're going to go ahead and click on persistent universe here. And then this is where we're going to create our character. I'm just going to click mail. I usually just do begin blending and then randomize a couple times. Um, it doesn't really matter that much, but you can literally change pretty much everything. Um, like I said, it doesn't really matter to me. Let's do that because that's kind of wacky. All right. So we're going to save. And now... Um, so you have the option to play the tutorial. Um, when I started playing the game, there was no tutorial. So I'm gonna skip that and I'm just gonna kind of show you guys how to get started. So here it says select system. We're gonna select Stanton. We're gonna set our starting location. I used to do Lorville, but uh, lately it's been kind of buggy. I am not a fan of Orison because it's kind of a nightmare and I don't know my way around there. Uh, I'm gonna select New Babbage. I like New Babbage, it's a good town. Um, here you select what server you want to play on. We'll just go USA for now. And we're going to set this as a primary residence. It's going to ask us, you know, this is going to be a primary residence. Are you sure about this? You won't really be able to change it. You can change like where you spawn, but all of the stuff that's on your account and attached to your account is going to start at your um, starting location. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that and we're going to load in. Um, just a pro tip here. If you hit the tilde button, you can do R hit R and then tab three times and then you can hit one, two or three. I like two. This gives you your FPS, um, what server you're in and the server FPS. So the server we're loading into is a serious FPS about 10, which is surprisingly pretty good for Star Citizen. So we're going to be happy with the server. It should do us good. If you want to get rid of that, you just, that's the wrong button, sorry. You hit R, tab, 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 display info, zero, enter, it goes away. All right, so you're gonna start out laying down in a bed somewhere, um, wherever you set your location. So there's a few ways to get out of bed. You can hold F and look over to your left and hit get up, or you can hold Y which is what I just did there, or you can just hold W sometimes. There's a few different ways. Um, that's kind of, those are the three kind of main ones. So the way you interact with things in this game is you hold F, it'll bring up your mouse cursor. And then if you get close enough to something you can interact with, you'll see it light up. It says open, so we're gonna open that. And we're in beautiful New Babbage. This town is probably one of the cooler towns. Um, so real quick, W, A, S, S, sorry, D, uh, Q and E is lean. 
Uh, w left shift is sprint. Uh, left control is crouch. Alt, left alt X wipes your visor. So if you get water on there, we're gonna get on the elevator and we're going to call the elevator. We're gonna get on the elevator and we're gonna take it down. It's always gonna be the lobby. It doesn't matter where you spawn, you'll spawn on different floors. You always wanna end up in the lobby. So we're gonna to go to the lobby. Another pro tip, F12, um, gets rid of global chat. It's just my preference, I don't like having it up. Sometimes I like having it up and shit talking people, but you can always pull it back up by hitting F12, so. All right. So. We're going to look for, this is Microtech Metro Loop. Um, all of the cities have a tram. Every city you spawn in, you're going to have to get on the tram to get to the spaceport. That's where you're going to want to go to claim your ship. So Microtech, we're going to run down the stairs. There's signs pretty much in all the cities. If we wanted to go to the commons, we would go that, to that line. If we want to go to the spaceport, we're going to go to this line. So we're going to head on over to the spaceport. Uh, we're going to get on the train. So trains have little timers it says we're gonna leave in about six seconds um while we're doing this i'll bring up a couple things first one i is your inventory so this is all the stuff that i own i played this account before so i have a little bit of stuff on him um this is my zero to hero account you can hit filters and you can Filter just by armor or undersuits or utilities. So the inventory screen is pretty neat. So if you wanted to take this multi-tool, that's a bad example because you not really rendering in. All right, I want to take this rifle. I want to put it on my back. I'm going to just drag it over and move it to the blue circle or I can just double click it and it'll show up there. Same, same way with taking it off. You just click on it and drag it back to your inventory. Fairly simple, fairly self-explanatory. Um, you add attachments, you would add the gun, and then I wanna put this attachment on it. You can see that the blue thing lights up, so that means it fits, so I just put it on there, and there it is. Take it off, put it over here. One thing you're gonna to wanna to note is to take your helmet off, you're going to do the same thing we just did. You just drag it over here to armor. I got a bunch of helmets. Now I got my helmet off. So if I needed to eat or drink or anything, I would need to remove my helmet in order to do that. Oftentimes when I have armor on or anything like that, I have uh, a backpack on. So I'll keep food and water in my backpack. And then while I'm out, you know, exploring the verse or doing missions or whatever, I just throw my helmet in my backpack, drag the food or water over to my hand, eat and drink. All right, so we're going to go to New Babbage and her planetary spaceport terminal. I, that's a guess. Sounds legit. Sounds like I know what I'm talking about. So we're going to go with that. All right. So every time you get off these elevators at the spaceport, you usually have to go through customs. Kind of a pain in the dick, but you know what? This is Star Citizen. It's immersive. We're running. These stairs used to kill you a couple patch ago, patches ago. So, all right, we're gonna swing over here real quick. I just want to show you where you can buy food and water. So, I'm gonna buy a quick soda. I hold F. So in order to drink it, I would just hold left click here. You would open it and drink it. Same thing goes with food. Um, I'm not gonna do too much more, but um, yeah, you just kind of come up to. The, these bars, one of one meal nutritional bar, spicy salmon. You just click by it and you've got it. All right, let's drop this can on the ground because we are litter bugs. What is this? Okay, so this guy's got a Ambio Light SRT attachment. So this goes on the power multi tool. I have no idea what it does and I'm not able to pick it up. All right, so we're looking for hangers. We found the hangers. We're going to head on over here. These are the ASOP terminals. This is where you're going to select which ship you want. Welcome to the ASOP system. Go on this account. Apparently I have an Aegis Vanguard Sentinel. I don't know how I have that or why I have that. 
but I'm going to pull out the RSI Aurora MR. This is a starter ship that I have. You're going to go ahead and you click deliver. It takes zero seconds. And then this is what you're looking for here. Retrieve. So we're going to hit retrieve. It's going to tell us where to go. Hangar number four. So we're going to run to one of the elevators that's going to be near the ASAP terminals. And we're going to call it and we're going to head down to hangar number four. All right. When we get down here, we've got a, um, we're going to kind of take a walk around the ship real quick. I'll show you what it looks like. The Aurora is a good little starter ship. It's probably one of my favorite $45 pledges. Um, it just has two size one gimbal, the uh, laser repeaters on it, a couple of missiles, and that's about it. Not a great dogfighter, but going to be dogfighting in your starter ship. Although it is fun. Uh, the ship does have a bed, so I could lay down in this bed. I could lock out in space, um, get in and out, just hold F, you know, click on the open door. So to get in the seat, we're going to hold F here. We're going to enter pilot seat. Takes a second to get around that pilot seat. So I have a head tracker on. Your head's not going to be doing this unless you have a head tracker too. A couple things we're going to talk about here is getting the ship started. First thing we're going to do is hold U. U is like kind of your quick auto start. Um, before we take off, I'm going to do a little bit of a cockpit familiarization. So here we have MFDs. This is our friends list. This is our ship and our shield status. This is our power management. Um, the five kind of moves things around. You can just slam F8 will always recenter. So if I want to go like full engines, I just tap F6. F5 will take us up to full weapons and F7 will take us over to shields, but it's not working. That's because my binds are different. Um, these are our shield status. So currently we're at hundred percent on all fields. These are weapon selectors. All of these you are able to, um, be able to interact with these. So we can go to our guns. We can see what kind of guns we got. We check our missile status. Uh, we have size one. Um, IR missiles, the Marksman ones, and we have two of them. Um, I just kind of leave it up. I don't really look at those screens. The main screens I look at are my target screens. This is who I'm targeting and my, um, my self status. So in order to leave the hangar, we have to do a couple of different things, or we have two different options. We can do alt left alt plus N, which will automatically call, or we can go over here. We can look at this. We can scroll up to new Babbage International Spaceport. It's kind of a pain in the ass. And we just hit that button and that would open the hangers. But I'm gonna do all 10 because it's easier and you should do that too. All right, so few basic flight controls. So when we're in our cockpit, spacebar is gonna bring us up. Kind of like jumping in FPS. Left control is gonna bring us down. So up, down, pretty easy. A is going to strafe us left. E strafe us right. S strafe back. W strafe forward. Q and E roll. And then pitch and yaw is going to be the mouse. Up, down, left, right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take off out of here. All right, so you'll see on our heads up display, specifically right here, this is our speed gauge. Um, this is important because it tells you how fast you're going. Anytime you're in the blue, you're going to get max performance out of your ship. If we roll mouse wheel up, it's going to increase our limiter up and down. See how that's going up and down the box. So if I was here, my ship won't go faster than that. Uh, throwing this out there, left shift is your boost. So currently we're boosting up right now. We're just trying to get out of atmosphere. What we're gonna try to do is what all new players should do is get out of the fucking city and set your spawn on a spaceport so you don't have to take trams. It'll save you a lot of time. It's 
definitely worth doing. So right above every major city is going to be a spaceport. Um, above Microtech is Port Trestler. So if we hit B, it's going to pull up our um, it's our quantum drive. So all of these locations we could line up to and we could jump to. It's telling us right now to enter your atmosphere. That's because we're still in the atmosphere of uh, the planet of Microtech. So we need to keep going out of it. Um, once we get out of it, you're going to notice that all of these things stop turning red and they're going to start turning blue. Uh, we'll just boost so we can hurry up. See my speed limiter and how I'm speeding up. All right. So now we're lined up with Port Trestler. Our spooling is complete at the very top of our crosshairs and to the left of our crosshairs, calibration is ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold B and it's going to jump us to Port Trestler. All right. Now that I'm here, I'm going to hit B again to toggle off my quantum drive. We're going to kind of screws on into Port Trestler. Um, one thing to note, you're going to need to put your landing gear down in order to land at Port Trestler, and you do that by hitting N. And it'll be displayed right here that it's going down. And now that it's um, lit up, that means that it's down. All right, so it says, please contact ATC to land. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Alt N again. And what you're looking for is a circle with the arrow in it. That's our landing bay. So we need to make our way over to that. When I'm flying around spaceports, I usually like to keep just around the uh, the blue so I can get full um, control of my ship and I'm not, you know, Tokyo drifting all over the place. All right, so we're gonna have to hit a little cue here in order to roll ourselves over. So we found our landing bay. Our landing gear is down. We're checking right here just to make sure that's lit up. We can also do this if we would like to. Hit F4, that puts you in third person view. Hold Z, you can move your mouse around to see our landing gears down. All right, we're gonna control on down a little bit and we are going to move our uh, speed indicators pretty low just so we don't smash into the hangar, which I do all the time. All right, we're in. And we're going to set her down. You know, landing is like a 4 out of 10, but you know what? We're shitters around here, and that's just how we do it. All right, hold Y to get out of your seat. We're going to stand up. We're going to hit F, and we're going to open this door. We're going to run on out. Always, always, always close your door. Because otherwise, somebody will can steal your ship and take it for a spin. If you have cargo or anything in your ship, you're definitely going to want to do that. All right, so we're going to get into the elevator. We're going to go to the lobby. Remember, always default to lobby. When we get here, give it a second to load in. So we got an ASAP terminal. We can select this ASAP terminal. Welcome. And we can see our R RSI Aurora MRs here. It's on the pad hangar four. So if we didn't know which pad it's on, it's there. And we can store it right there. So our ship is now currently stored. We can explore Port Trestor a little bit. You can buy hot dogs and water over here. There's another player. He's crouching up and down. This is a common, hey, what's up? Um, so what we're looking for now is the medical clinic. So if you were injured, you would come here to the patient check-in. It would tell you a room to go to. You go find your room, you lay down the bed, you get yourself fixed up. But if we curve around here to the left, we're going to see the regeneration terminal. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And we want to transfer our imprint. That means anytime we die, we will start at Port Trestler. Yes, we have things down there and you're going to still go to New Babbage, but you won't spawn there every time. Now that we're here, this is where I would want to put my, like, call all my ships to, you know, maybe put some armor sets up here, some weapons. You can buy all that stuff in the Galleria, um, which is through these elevators right there. Go to the Galleria. You can find weapon stores, armor stores. There's terminals there you can interact with and buy things. Make sure you always carry some med pins with you. All right. Um, one more thing I want to talk about is the 
Um, Moby Glass. So this is your Moby Glass. You open it by hitting F1. Um, so this gives you some stats. Apparently I have a ton of money. How much money is that? 851k? I don't even know how. I'll just send that to my other character because this is going to be a zero to hero account. All right. So does your money, get your vitals. This is kind of the, uh, um, the atmosphere outside. So you, what you're looking for is a lot of, uh, O2 and then you'll be able to breathe. If you're like on a planet or something, um, your Delphi, this is going to do your rep with, um, different factions, crusader security, things like that. Um, your journal, this is where you would look for um, your crime set to see what crimes you committed. Your vehicle maintenance manager, manager, after you land on a pad, you can click on this. You can refuel, rearm, reload, um, repair. The contracts manager, this is where you can find your mission. So currently right now it's jump town. So that's a priority mission. We can click on that, accept offer if we want to go do jump town. Um, I would suggest doing delivery missions at the beginning, do delivery missions just to get used to flying around a little bit. Uh, while you're doing those delivery missions, you can do some looting and stuff. We're gonna do a video on that um, and show you guys how to do that when we get on our zero to hero character. Um, there's research missions, investigation, search, bounty hunters. So bounty hunters are gonna be like ship PVP and mercenary are gonna be more ground combat stuff. So, if you go to like a security contract evaluation, it pays 15,000 credits and you go to a site somewhere and you kill a bunch of AI with uh, your guns. So, um, email trader, this is if you want to send money, I'll send money to myself right now. Uh, let's see, what's my name? Because like I said, this is going to be... Oh man, now I gotta do math on the spot. I'm just gonna do 800K right now. To show you how it works. So, it's gonna cost me 804. They take a 0.5% fee. I'm gonna go ahead and send that. And it's done. And now you'll see my credits is 47,000. Uh, Skyline, this is your map. So you can kind of look around the, the system with this. Um, we get into some jumping. You can set waypoints if you like double click Kirsten. Click set route while you're in your ship. It'll set a route there so it'll show you how to jump. Um, this is your vehicle loadout manager. So if you want to modify your ship, you would select your ship here. And here you would see the flare, all the systems. You can swap all these out. All the paints and vehicle weapons you can swap out. And then again, this is your comm link. So this is kind of your F11. Um, I got a friend request right here from Willy Wonka 98. It's one of the guys in the org. I'll just accept it. You can see uh, all chat here and you can also see who's in your server. Um, if you were in a party, it would be right here. Uh, your friends list is here. You can easily just right click people, invite them to your party. And then these are all your pending things. So that's the Moby Glass. Um, I know that's a lot of information at once. Feel free to rewatch the video a few times. I know I talk kind of fast, but this stuff is like, it's a lot of information at the beginning, but it, the more you do it, the more it's just muscle memory. You know, it's, it gets very, very simple. And you're, before you know it, you'll just be doing it. Um, so that's all I have for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. We're just gonna all tab out here. Um, just so I don't have that noise anymore in my ears, sorry. Um, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Kick. You know, I'm all over the place. And 07, Shortro out.